Welcome to a video from Dymo Consumer Service. This video will show you how to clean your label writer 550 series printer. This label writer might look different from yours, but the cleaning procedure will be the same for your device. Any key differences will be mentioned throughout the video. Here are all the cleaning supplies you will need. A few cotton swabs and a cleaning card. If you do not have a cleaning card, it can be substituted with a business card and some isopropyl or rubbing alcohol. Simply dampen the business card with the alcohol solution. Ensure it is not dripping, as excessive alcohol could damage the printer. If your printer has a tape jam, you may need a pair of tweezers and a sharp tool. Please remove any labels from the feed path. Slide the label guide to the side and pull the release lever towards you. You should now be able to reverse the labels out of the feed path. If the labels are wrapped around the roller and cannot be removed, please tear off the last label. Now it is time to remove the front cover. Place your fingertips above the feed path inside of the printer. You should have a grip on the front cover's edge. Gently lift it up and pull towards you simultaneously so that the tabs on the top of the cover are released. You should now have access to the print roller. Please lift the printer to inspect the print head. Gently spread the sides of the printer to release the button holder. Exercise caution to avoid damaging the connections and keep in mind that this step may not be essential. You should now have a clear view of the print head. Use the release lever to lower the print head and inspect it for any stuck labels or glue residue. In the event that a label becomes trapped between the print head and the print roller, utilize the release lever to alleviate pressure. Carefully remove the label using either your hand or tweezers. If you have a label wrapped around the roller, you may need to cut it into smaller pieces or split it along the top. You should be able to access the roller from the top in order to cut the label. If you need more space, you can lift the label guide and even remove it completely by squeezing it from both sides, though this should not be necessary in most cases. Take a sharp tool and use it to split the label along the top. Please be careful to not hurt yourself as well as to not damage the rubber roller. You can divide the label into smaller sections or remove portions of it to reduce the amount of layers. Once you have split the label, you can try to remove it from the printer. Use the release lever to loosen the grip from the print head. If the label remains stuck, please try to use the feed button, which may allow you to remove the jam from the label dispensing area. While maintaining pressure on the release lever, please use tweezers or your sharp tool to easily remove the label. Inspect the printer for any label remains. If you have removed the label guide, you can now reattach it. Align the tabs with the holes on each side of the printer and gently slot them into place. Please make sure that you do not apply too much pressure, as well as that the guide is facing into the printer. If you remove the buttons on the front of the printer to access the print head, 
you can now reattach them. Slot the left side into position, then gently pull the right side of the printer outwards to slot in the other side. Please make sure the buttons are seated properly. Make sure your printer is turned on. Feed the cleaning card through the printer using the feed button. Repeat this process two to three times. If you have a 5XL printer, feed the cleaning card multiple times along the whole width of the feed path. You want to make sure that the cleaning card has made contact with the entire roller and print head surface. Your label writer is equipped with sensors, which are responsible for the label feed. Regular cleaning can help prevent issues with excessive feeding and is crucial for optimal performance. The exit sensors are situated just above the label dispensing area. Please clean the sensor with a dry cotton swab. To access the entry sensor, lift the label guide. It is located on the left-hand side of the feed path. The entry sensor cannot be removed and can be cleaned by passing a cleaning card underneath it. If you see any labels sticking out from under the sensor, please use tweezers to remove them. After completing the cleaning process of your device, proceed to secure the front cover back in place. Position the cover so that the holes at the top align with the corresponding tabs on the printer. Ensure the hooks at the bottom of the cover engage with the slots inside the printer. Gently push the cover toward the printer until you hear a satisfying click, indicating it is securely fastened. Finally, inspect the sides and bottom of the printer to confirm there are no unseemly gaps. Place the spool back into the printer and insert your labels into the feed path. Please make sure that your labels are facing down and are aligned all the way to the left-hand side of the printer with the help of the label guide to keep them in place. You can now power on your device and press the feed button to advance a label. Please remember to clean your device regularly for optimal performance. We wish you happy printing. Thank you for following our guide. You can find more useful guides at our Dymo Help Center at help.dymo.com.